Okay, now we have a few miscellaneous problems which are just based on, just it helps us to brush up everything that we did till now. So we have 1 upon x into x raised to 5 plus 1. Okay. We can, how do we go about doing this? Yeah, so it is basically 1 upon x into x raised to 5 plus 1 into dx. Now, what can we do over here? We have x raised to, we are bound to take uh, x raised to 5. <coughs> now, we have to do by substitution. So, suppose you are going to take x raised to 5 plus 1 as say t. That means, so if you take both sides, you get 5x raised to 4 is equal to uh, dx is equal to dt but there is no 5x raised to 4 so we multiply both numerator and denominator by x raised to 4 and x raised to 4 so this becomes x raised to 5 into x raised to 5 plus 1 dt so now hence once we have it this way we can now write it as what x raised to 4 dx so eventually x raised to 4 dx is equal to dt by 5 so this 1 by 5 goes out and we have dt x raised to 4 dx itself is dt and x raised to 5 plus 1 is t and x raised to 5 is what we have x raised to 5 is nothing but this can be written as t minus 1 that is we have x raised to 5 plus 1 is t so x raised to 5 is t minus 1 so it's eventually 1 by 5 into 1 upon t minus 1 into 1 upon t so t square minus t one by five into one upon t into t minus one dt. Now we can do this using one upon five dt so we have five minus one x raised to four dx is okay. <coughs> so it has to be <coughs> t t minus 1 now how do we do we have to do this by partial fraction concept only so this is going to be a by t plus b upon t minus 1 and this is equal to 1 upon t into t minus 1 so it's going to be a t minus 1 plus b t is equal to 1 suppose now you take suppose t as 0. So, in that case, a will turn out to be minus 1. If you take t as 1, as 1, b will turn out to be 1. So, it's eventually dt this. 1 by 5 into minus 1 by t plus 1 upon t minus 1 dt which is going to be 1 by 5 into minus log t plus log t minus 1 plus k. So, it is eventually going to be 1 by 5 into log t minus 1. t minus 1 we know is nothing but a raised to 5, uh, x raised to 5 because t minus 1 is x raised to 5. So, it is going to be t minus 1 that is x raised to 5 upon log t which is nothing but x raised to 5 plus 1 plus c. So, it is going to be 1 by 5 log x raised to 5 upon x raised to 5 plus 1 plus c. Okay, now this is going to be all powers of 5, <coughs> x raised to, so it's all x raised to 5, okay. 
So ultimately, it's going to be 1 by 5 log x raised to 5 upon x raised to 5 plus 1 plus c. That is option number b. Okay. Okay. Then, here we have equal to. Now, here we have a slight interesting thing that is happening which never happened. We have not done this. So, we have dx upon root 3x plus 4 minus root 3x plus 1. Now, in this case, we multiply by the conjugate of this. So, it's eventually root 3x plus 4 plus root 3x plus 1. And you're multiplying both numerator and denominator by the conjugate. So, it's going to be root 3x plus 4 minus root 3x plus 1 into root 3x plus 4 plus root 3x plus 1. Um, this dx. So, it's eventually going to be <coughs> root 3x plus 4 plus root 3x plus 1 upon a minus b into a plus b is a square which is 3x plus 4 minus b square minus 3x plus 1 root 3x plus 1 the whole square is minus 3x minus 1 so it's eventually 3x 3x 4 minus 1 so it's going to be 1 by 3 into root 3x plus 4 so it's going to be 3x plus 4 raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 into 1 by 3 taking the derivative of this plus 3x plus 1 raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 into 1 by 3 hence we get it so ultimately this is going to be 2 goes up so you get 2 by 3 would be up and you get 3x plus 4 raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 into 3, 9 plus 3x plus 1 raised to 3 by 2. 2 has already gone up and taken out common upon 9. So again, 9 can be taken out common. So it's going to be 2 by 9 into 3x plus 4 raised to 3, 3, 2 by 27. I'm sorry. It's going to be 9 taken out common. 3 by 2 plus 3x plus 1 raised to 3 by 2. So it's 2 by 27 raised to 3x into 3x plus 4 plus c of course. So it's going to be option number b. Okay. 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 Now we have given y is equal to e a raised to log x plus e x raised to log a. Now, here we are going to use this way. Yes, e raised to log of any number is nothing but the number itself. So, if you look at this, this is eventually e raised to log x raised to a plus e raised to log a raised to x dx. This is y. Therefore, y is eventually going to be, since it is e raised to log x raised to a, so y would be x raised to a plus a raised to x. Now, you have been asked to find dy by dx. Now, dy by dx obviously would be equal to Okay, now well, we need to do the, sorry, we made a mistake here. We have to find the integration of this because we have just found the value of this. Now, this will turn out to be x raised to a plus 1 upon a plus 1 plus a raised to x upon log a plus the constant. Right. Now, we need to dy by dx. So, dy by dx now would be what? We are going to use this. a plus 1. D, remember, d by dx of x raised to n is nothing but nx raised to n minus 1. So, it's going to be a plus 1 into 
x raised to a plus 1 minus 1 upon a plus 1. This in any case gets cancelled and this is going to be log a is going to be a constant it is going to remain as it is outside. This is going to be a raised to x log a and differential of a constant is 0. So this log a log a get cancelled therefore dy by dx is nothing but x raised to a plus a raised to x. So ultimately it's going to be option number b. So what we have done is we have converted first it's still this e raised to log x raised to a is going to be x raised to a this is going to be a raised to x but we still haven't found the differential of this. So it's eventually differential of this is the same as differential of x raised to a plus a raised to x. So now y itself after finding the differential we get this. Now we need to further differentiate sorry after finding the integral we get x raised to a plus 1 upon a plus 1 and a raised to x upon log a. So in all this we got the function the function itself is an integral of this function and this function itself is x raised to a plus a raised to x. So y is going to be the integral of x raised to a plus a raised to a dx and hence y turns out to be this. But this is not what we need to find. We need to find dy by dx. So dy by dx is going to be x raised to a plus 1 minus 1 and hence you get this. Okay. Okay. So ultimately it's going to be option number B. So these are the various types of sums that we did. No doubt it's a very vast topic and we have covered about 9 to 10 subheadings within this. But if you see, if you relate it quite closely to differentiation, you'll find that they're so closely related. So you may have to uh, focus a little more on uh, partial fractions as well as integration by parts. Definite integration is pretty easy. If you're clear about your integration concept, your definite integration will definitely be going on fine. And please do not forget the special substitution ones. This dx upon x square plus a square, dx upon x square minus a square, dx upon root x square plus a square. And those six formulae which we have to do. Otherwise, if you look at the trend, quite a number of them are based on substitution. So, we do have a fairly decent number of slides which we went through, number of problems which we attacked. Now, uh, we need to summarize what and all we did since it has been a very long session. We'll just summarize what we covered in this topic called integration. Okay.